example, uh, knowing how those uh, uh, Zer, um, I think Z catch uh, gyro uh, yeah. combos work. We'll see it right now as they pick their characters. Wrong. Unless one of them has a second error or something, we don't know. I do not believe yet. so. Uh, I do not believe either. Oh, yeah. Oh. The Lucario pick. Yeah, we are going for the Wally matchup. Yep, this is going to be a joy to commentate. Just both players going absolutely ham on one another. Rob versus Rob. We're moving into game one right now. Let's see. Let's see how how is this going to open up? Two gyros, maybe Clan King. Never mind. We're going to have two lasers going yeah. against each other. Yeah, I believe this is going to be a lot of, uh, of the dynamic of trying to prevent the other one from uh, setting up uh, his uh, plan, setting up his tools. Yeah, I believe this is just the set is just gonna be swinging back and forth like a pent pendulum. Both of them. I mean, like you say, like the like the classic saying goes, Rob is big, and who better to combo Rob than Rob himself? You're right, actually. You're definitely right. Like this uh, is a character that uh, can uh, exploit its own weaknesses. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they are one is just combo food for the other. It's a completely even matchup. But like I said, both of them are just gonna be pushing their advantage on each other back and forth, taking turns, just racking up percent in a matter of seconds and you can see how even it is we are talking about the uh, one of the best robs in uh, america in general yep. versus one of the, the best if not the best in europe yeah exactly and neither player even giving like giving an inch already both of them just clinging on to dear life i believe I, there's no telling what move or what grab or confirm is going to be the going to be the confirm that takes this lead. Definitely. Uh, and now they are both fighting for their life, both uh, surviving at very high percent. Big Boss taking uh, taking uh, the uh, the gyro from uh, Longo, trying to get a lot of uh, of that, trying to prevent him from getting his own uh, zoo, and finally landing that up throw uh, to get the kill. But at 186 percent, it's going to be hard to survive anything yep. that, uh, Ro uh, that Longo can throw. Uh, yep, and Big Boss drawing first blood, being the first person to pull ahead in this rat race, or maybe robot race, between the two players. And I'm going to be honest with you, I do not expect to see anything close to 205% on my screen going into the set. I thought it was just going to be Socks getting blown up. However, the first person to give an inch is Longo, and for two players who were so dead even going into stock one, we now see one pull ahead, we see this little gap, a gap in skill, character knowledge, start to widen, and we'll see, can Longo make any necessary adaptations to kind of fill that gap, Definitely. Pull, to pull his game to his favour? Absolutely, he's gonna need to adapt uh, his game plan, he's gonna need to change something up, because we can see that Big Boss is very comfortable, his decision making is showing how comfortable he is fighting Longo, really always having uh, one uh, being one step ahead. Yeah, one thing I love to see is that despite being Rob mains, really nobody is safe from the gimmicks and like the crafty tricks that Rob can pull out of the bag. It doesn't matter if you play the character, you're not any safer from Gyro than anybody else. Absolutely not. Good parry there. Knowing the, uh, knowing the character, we know that the, you as the saying goes, just parry Rob's neutral there, yep. and that's what's gonna happen here. Big Boss showing that he knows, and I believe he also has experience fighting Rob as MK Leo at some point picked up Rob so he yeah. could like teach himself the uh, teach him the character. So he definitely played together the deal. I believe that is gonna be the end of this game one. A very solid two stock on Big Boss's side. What start like I said, what started out as such a such an even back and forth. Now the like the difference in skill has started to appear, right. and it seems Big Boss is the one who is in the driver's seat right now, just forcing Longo to make the make the changes to his gameplay, really bring things back. We'll see what Longo pulls out going into game two, because something needs to be found already. Something definitely needs to be pulled out of the bag. Definitely, and Longo is definitely capable of like finding that create more the more creative way of uh, those the most creative ways of getting into uh, uh, Big Boss's head. Yeah. Of, uh, um, keeping also track of his old resources because we've seen something very crucial on uh, Big Boss's end is like how he uh, held off onto. Um, uh, Longo's gyro uh, for himself. Being a Rob himself, having the other one's gyro is 
so big, it's such a huge aspect uh, not to be ignored uh, because not only you are preventing him from having that tool, but you're having the same tool that you need in any way, you know? Yeah. So it, it really goes to, uh, to say how important that is. Yeah, and I love I love the awareness of both players because if you're doing a Rob Mirror match, it must get so confusing sometimes just having two Jarrells just take up space on the stage and to not kind of lose in track of which one is yours. It's just it's a very impressive to see when two Robs go up against each other. Yeah, definitely. And the color recognition, this is uh, definitely something where you have to keep a very, very good track of which one's colors which. For now, though, what you're going to have to keep done. track of is uh, that a Burry, that a mashing to get out of here is going to get caught by the forward smash. And this time around, it's Longo who's going to have the advantage. Yeah, exactly. It seems despite how quick Big Boss's mash was, it just wasn't quite enough to get out of that down smash or down throw up smash at 135%. Now, like you said, long goes someone that's pulling ahead. Definitely some changes made. Maybe just refine, fine tune this gameplay, tighten those confirms to make sure that he was not the one on the back foot in this game. Definitely. Gonna have to get rid of the uh, gyro. To might come back, but unfortunately it's the up smash that's gonna be waiting for you, my friend. 89% yep. on and the big boss is uh, stock. It's not quite a lot, especially knowing how Rob can take a stock so quickly. This was so dangerous, Yabuki. Yeah, my heart definitely froze there. I thought we were just gonna, we were gonna see exactly what everybody thought we were gonna see, and I sighed me to finish off that conversion. However, Longbow just going a little bit too high. However, it doesn't matter because big boss is now just torn torn that lead out of Longo's hands and taken it for himself. Definitely. And now he's we are back to the same scenario as game one. Can he make it back? Can he still find this adaptation? That is a testament of uh, Big Boss's skill as yeah. a player, of observation, of on, of on the fly, understanding what makes the other player tick and adapting uh, as quickly. 114%, he's still sitting very comfortable. Unless he gets hit by something there, good patience, not getting hit by the bear, maybe having a few of those downfield and the forward smash to boot big boss making quick work of that and clearing securing that second win yeah big boss always just seems to be one step ahead of longo no matter what the situation is just always has the right confirmed service situation longo may be missing some crucial things maybe being a little late on reads a little late to chase down big boss however when big boss gets a hit he always makes a count and he'll make sure to never miss that miss that opportunity that's been given to him absolutely like this it's about the advantage uh, state in general not only even though he doesn't have like those touch of death those are uh, Touch of death combos Rob is known for. He can still uh, keep uh, going on. He still can, can still press on, and we can see it right there. Something I've seen yep. and I love about the way that uh, MK Big Boss is playing is how he keeps himself grounded and he's using a lot of up tilts. He knows how Rob's neutral air is important and he's going already against that. He's expecting that, so he always anti airs Longo in that aspect, preventing, stuffing those approaches, yep. and already bringing him close to his death if he doesn't get hit by uh, that laser. Yeah, Longo needs to be so incredibly careful, but I love the usage of the gyro just saying, get off me. I'm making it back to stage and there's nothing you can do about it. Keep away, keep away from me. Yeah, that's something he's been using a lot, but to have to use your uh, your resources, that crucial resources, to um, uh, try to make uh, yourself away back to neutral yep. is to say how much pressure Big Boss is putting on Longo. Yeah, just con like I was saying before, constant pressure, constant airtight confirms. And Longo, this has just been the story of the set. He's just been constantly on the back foot. But, and now, and you just, you can't be lax. And you can see it again, the up tilt again, preventing um, yep. Longo from uh, landing with that neutral air. Not letting him get any party started. We're going again for the down tilt, but this time again, Longo is going to have it. And the back air to boot, finally. Yep. That stop. Evening out the stops, however, Longo in such a precarious position, as I've said before, 96%, and there's just a plethora of ways that Big Boss can take this stop and to finish you off at that percent. Longo definitely a lot of work to do. Can't be lax, you're sick of losers. This is possibly your tournament game, Ari. Possibly his tournament game indeed going for the very risky neutral air there. Pressured by the down tilt, he's gonna have to make a little bit more work if you wanna go come back from the stage. Pressing on Big Boss, not letting him get back at all. Racking up already 140%. 
be up. And we see Big Boss, Big Boss getting a little fancy, throwing out the burner boost there to try to catch Longo out. An excellent coverage, gyro into up air. Longo now on his tournament stock at the moment. We'll see, he's trying his way to climb to the summit. However, Big Boss is just in his way, not letting him get any, any further. There was no escape. There was definitely no escape from there, ladies and gentlemen. Big Boss is on a roll for potentially the last set of this stream, ladies and gentlemen. This might be the final game that you're going to see on the GBC2. And look at how Big Boss is making that work. Probably now the death of Longo. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, and Longo's tournament run has now been cut short at the hands of his own character, Ori. Excellent display of just finesse and character mastery over on Big Boss's side. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible, as you say. An amazing performance from Big Boss, who is seemingly unstoppable there. A clean 3-0. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure commentating for this tournament. Yep. This has been Ori and Yabuki. Yep. Uh, if you that. if you want to give us a follow, our ads are both right down there right and here. it's been a, been a pleasure to bring you this top 32 everything will, i believe will be moving over to the mainstream as we segue smoothly into top eight which will be commentated by four incredible casters please look forward to it all right Absolutely. it's been a pleasure